what is up witchy friends hi i'm jade and this is jaded raven witchery today i want to talk about spiritual hygiene different methods of cleansing and clearing using all four elements some of the things that need to be thought about for spiritual hygiene is keeping yourself and your aura cleansed from other people's energies empathic people a lot of times or anyone in general really can pick up the energies off of other people but empathic people specifically have to be careful and you know take the time to really cleanse your energy there are several ways that you can do this spring water is actually a great cleanser spring water and you can consecrate the spring water another good option is salt of any kind sea salt is best of course also black salt can be good depending on what you're doing there are many different types of salts that are good you can also combine the salt with the water to make the water more powerful and give it more powerful cleansing properties now you can make this little salt water concoction for cleansing clearing banishing energies around your home you can also leave out bowls of, of water bowls of salt those are some good options Another great thing is salt baths for yourself, and um, even in the shower, I actually have containers in there that I refill with um, body salts, or sometimes I straight up use Epsom salts. So by even using those, combining them with body wash in the shower, and really focusing your intentions on clearing your energy, clearing your aura out, and the salt cleansing and consecrating your, I literally do this every single day. I do it before magical practice, I do it before reading tarot, I do it constantly. It's really important to keep your energy um, cleansed and cleared, and obviously water, salt are great ways to do this. Another way is by burning different items. <laughs> uh, sage. Right here I have some white sage burning. This is one option where it threw, instead of the water and the salt from the earth to cleanse and consecrate, here you can use some plants from the earth, set them on fire, and um, they will emit a clearing and cleansing smoke that will help banish negative energies and clear and cleanse your space, okay? So there's a lot of different options. You can use white sage, blue sage, um, black sage, which is also known as mugwort. You can use lavender. You can use sweet grass. You can use palo santo. There are all different types of incenses, frankincense and myrrh. There are so many options that you can use. They can all be used to cleanse, consecrate, and banish. Another great option with the salt is with the salt, you can combine all different herbs and items that um, will enhance the salt even more towards you know whatever cleansing banishing or protective properties you want to imbue it with depending on what you're cleansing and consecrating you can switch up what you're using you can use water and salt and smoke on yourself but for things like tarot and oracle cards it's probably best to use the smoke of some type of sage, palo santo, basically whatever you choose. They're all going to cleanse the cards appropriately. Another great option that I employ from time to time is salt. I will use a bag and I will fill it with different cleansing and consecration salts. And I will put my decks in there and one by one shake them and allow the salt to absorb and clear all the energies off of each deck. It can be quite time consuming, which is why I do try to just clear them and use the sage smoke on a very regular basis. But every now and then I do have to, to do that. I've had to do it, I think once in the past year so far, as well as constant saging and smudging. So that's another option. You know, you can salt different items or smudge them with the smoke. And these are common ways to also consecrate and cleanse your, your space your uh, working tools, different decks of cards, anything that you uh, feel has either negative energy attached to it or you want to clear the energy attached to it. All things carry like energy imprints or signatures to them. And if you want to just kind of have a fresh start, it's best to, you know, simply sage and smudge or you can cleanse with water. Another important aspect of spiritual hygiene is sound baths or sounds in general to clear the resonance of a space 
as well as yourself. These singing bowls are amazing. They will reverberate through the room as well as through your whole body. It feels amazing. You can either gong them or you can actually make them sing. There you have it. You can sing the bowls or you can, I prefer to sing them with just a plain wooden thing with a nice little lip like this. I don't know if you can see that. And I prefer to gong them with one that is padded. It just sounds better than hitting it with the wood. You can hear like the chime of like the chip of the wood on it. It's way better to gong it with a muffled one and sing it with a pure wood one in my opinion. Well, actually that didn't gong it bad. Keep in mind, sound baths or resonance be cleared with certain sounds as well and it can affect your body and your energies, your chakras, your aura, all of that, okay? It's best to know a lot of options and how you can vary them and mix and match depending on what you're specifically doing. So these are just some simple basic options for spiritual hygiene. Make sure you are cleansing and salting and saging and smudging. So these are some different examples of all different sage and smudge sticks and bundle. So this is white sage. It has, a, this is bulk in a big jar and here it is bound in a smudge stick. White sage normally has very large kind of white looking leaves. It has a distinct odor and you can get it bundled or in bulk. It can be broken up as well. So that is white sage. Blue sage or cedar sage looks a little different. It's like a deeper green and they almost look like little, like they're little bundles of like cedar. And that's more for calming, comforting. It can purify, protect. White sage, again, can cleanse, balance, banish negativity. It's also good for strength. We have Yerba Santa. This big sage bundle I have of Yerba Santa. This is another option that could be used specifically for certain types of rituals and purposes. I also have, I have a lavender and a mugwort, which is also known as black sage, but it's just kind of like a dark brown in appearance. See, there's the lavender, it's purple. I probably should take them out. The lavender bundle. And this is mugwort. Again, you can also get mugwort loose. So these are also things that can be burned for cleansing and um, consecration to clear the energy. Basically any type of smudge stick can be used. It's just that certain ones like sweet grass are specific for like ancestral magic. Juniper can be, you know, clarity and uh, cleansing. Lemongrass can be for communications or sometimes channeling. There's like all different ways to, to use these. This is uh, blue sage, which again has a greener quality to it. It has a somewhat different smell than the white sage. And then these are Palo Santo sticks. Get the jar open. These are a special type of like holy wood that you can burn as well. They have a very pleasant odor. So yeah, there is lots of different options for cleansing and purification. As far as salts go, there's all different types of plain ritual salts you can get. These are great for bathing and cleansing yourself as well as casting circles of protection and in any type of protective magic. Mm, it stands in as an earth element really, really well in rituals. And some of these are different blends that I've gotten from different subscription boxes. This one is actually Crossroads. It's a Hecate blend from the Witch's Moon. And this is just um, a Sugar Muses one. It's just a basic ritual salts. And then I also do have some black salts here. 
which can be very, very good in banishing and protection magic. So yeah, do not um, discount spring water or even moon water, full moon water, dark moon water, which is simply just take water, spring water, um, preferably, but it doesn't have to be left out during the full moon or during the new moon. And um, then these can be used for their lighter magic, darker magic, different ent energies and entities. Full and new moon waters can also be used for cleansing, consecration, banishment, um, as well as in a multitude of other uh, magic. Spring water and water in gener general can be very powerful depending on how you choose to charge it and what you choose to do with it. So yeah, don't underestimate the, the power of water, salt, um, and basic 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 stuff that you can find at any new age store basically any place at all um, you can get these right on Amazon I'll actually leave some links below uh, thank you so much for watching I hope this was helpful in some way as always like share comment subscribe I appreciate it so so much and I hope to see you guys back all right much love to you all bye